Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Today is Wednesday, April 25th, 2018. Vlog number 114. Hey, week's halfway over. Hi. Hi, oh my god, I got nothing. I think I need another vacation. Mm. It's a dangerous territory me, of me thinking like this. In all the past jobs I've had, whenever I get to a point where I'm like, I need some days off, I need a vacation, I need something, and, you know, and I think that way rather frequently, even if I've just had a vacation, I'm like, oh, I need a vacation again, or I need to take more days off. I'm, I know that I'm getting to the ends of my ropes with the job. Know, it sucks. But what are you gonna do? Um, I don't want to just end up, you know, straight up leaving my job. In most aspects, I like my job. Just it's really getting to me, you know. I need a change. I've been doing this for too long. I need to, I need to shift of something. I want a 3D printer. I've been wanting one for a long time. And, you know, the options out there are, are endless now. It's really pretty ridiculous the uh, amount of options you would have for 3D printers in terms of size, cost, um, capability. Um, and most of like, your, your basic 3D printers are. are They, the results are, are pretty similar, um, you know, unless you get to something like super professional. Um, I was watching this one video last night, and I, I heard of the technique as a way you can smooth out your prints. Say if you're, you know, making something kind of, not, you don't want it too incredibly detailed, like super detailed. But if it's like, you know, has a lot of like flat surfaces and stuff like that. Or you want it, you know, if it's roundish and you want it to be smooth. Because normally when you print something with 3D, it prints it in layers. And layers are they're kind of like stair step. Um, but there's a process called uh, uh, acetone vapor bath. I don't, I don't know if I got that right, but it's like you use acetone. Just like the kind of the vapor of the acetone, and it, and it kind of pretty much just melts the outside surface of your model that you printed. Um, I guess it only works with certain type of plastics because acetone only eats away at certain plastics. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to like smooth it out. And you know, this, the guy who, who will show in the video, he printed a, a, a vase, right? And you put it in there, and it came out pretty good. You know, it came out shiny after that. I can imagine, like, if you're doing a print for, um, let's say if you're doing a costume part, like an armor, like a shoulder piece, or, or something. Um, yeah, it's going to have stair steps, and yeah, you, you know, you sand it smooth. But how much, how much better it would be if you just, like, acetone it and smooth it out that way? It seems like it seems kind of fun. I'm gonna give that a shot. If I uh, maybe I'll like print something at the printers at my work and try that. Uh, try this acetone bath thingy. Uh, it seems pretty neat. Uh, well, then there's a there's one YouTube channel. You know, when you when you browse browsing through YouTube channels for certain categories of things like 3D printers, um, you know, you, you kind of come across, you know, uh, categories of YouTubers that they, that's what they kind of specialize in 3D printers. Um, one guy is really good, his uh, biggest channel is Maker's News or something like that, um, and he, he tests and runs all kinds of printers, and he, um, his 
channel pretty much about like you know some of the different uh, printers that you can get, um, what types of prints you can do on them, you know, some different things you can do with the printers. And it's a pretty popular channel. It's one of the better, uh, you know, of the 3D maker community out there. Uh, there's a couple others. Uh, there's one girl though. She's obviously Chinese. She lives in China. She's she's very good at what she does. Um, in, in terms of like she she's knowledgeable um, about what she's talking about in terms of 3D printers. Uh, it's funny like she gets to test and experiment with all kinds of like Chinese 3D printers, some of which are prototypes. Um, one low like you know she's a small Chinese girl and like this one came and the bulk of it was this huge machined aluminum plate and apparently the thing was really heavy um, she's like I, I can't move this on my own I need, I need to get my she said her, her helper elves or something uh, to help move it very funny but this girl I mean I, I, I kind of I wanted to look back at her like earlier video to see her progression and how she started because she has a lot of viewers for good reason because she wears like no clothes in her videos. And she's a pretty girl, very sexy body, big ass fake titties. And she hardly wears clothes in her videos. And the, the lack of clothing in her videos has nothing to do with the 3D printing that she's doing. You know, or the 3D printers that she's reviewing. Like if she's reviewing a 3D printer, that's fine. But she like wears like a skippy ass tube top while she's doing it. You know, showing under boob and stuff. <laughs> and like, um, there's a few videos that she made where she 3D printed uh, bikinis for herself, like a bikini top. And I know she does that for clicks. You know, she obviously does, does a lot of that for clicks. But the quality of her content is still really good. Um, you know, like I said, she's not she's not like some like dumb broad that they just kind of threw up there. Um, that she doesn't know what she's talking about. She obviously does. She's been, you know, I guess, dealing with this stuff for a long time. She she knows what she's doing. She knows her, her technology. But it's just funny. It's just like, all right, well, you got. You got a hook going on here. You're sexy as hell. And of course, sex sells. I am a male, and there's nothing wrong with watching her channel. In my perspective. Holy shit, that is cool. Because it's like really dusty out there. Or it's probably like really windy up by the mountains. The sun is coming up, and it's like red. Uh, that's, that's why 
why you want to watch her. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm goofy today. So, that's it for today. I will talk to you all later. Everybody have a good day. I love you.